Hello and welcome to week 14 in Psychology Seminar. Just a couple weeks left here before the semester starts, uh, comes to an end. So we are again in Lesson 7, continuing to talk about assessment, but this time we're moving into non-academic skills. Now these include, and the list is in the lesson plan, character, the aspect of your, of your total human moral and whatnot character, social and emotional skills, These are social skills, but also emotional intelligence, a growth mindset, person who sees challenge, person with high growth mindset will see challenges or you'll see barriers as challenges to learn will be persistent in those that that brings us to grit, individual who comes across a problem and doesn't immediately give up and help, get help, they, 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 keep at it. And there's a delicate balance that we have to create about grit, endurance, persistence at a problem before we ask for help. My perception has been that in many ways, because of computers, because of the internet, we ask for help too early. Um, just as an, just an, an anecdote to it, I know that when my family sits around, we're talking about things, we're trying to figure out the name of an actor that's in a particular movie. We used to spend all kinds of time doing that, and maybe that was a waste of time, maybe not, but it was exercising our skills, our cognitive skills, to try and remember that person's name. Now we just look it up on our phones, and I wonder if maybe there's just too much ease of getting information and not enough need to develop, not enough opportunities, I guess, to develop that kind of persistence at a problem to figure it out. And the process of figuring it out actually results in better learning. So just some, some contemplation about that for you. Some other areas, metacognition, the ability to think about your own processes of learning and apply them to different situations. This is really where the concept of learning styles actually has some validity. There are different ways to learn things. You're presented with information, like say right now, you're presented with this information, it goes along with your book, so you have auditory information and you have some visual information. If you want, if you could actually look at your strategies and say, well, I'm really much more comfortable learning information, my preference is through tactile or sensory motor type learning, then you make cue cards and you make things you can manipulate or you draw pictures out and you're using visual information and you're using kinesthetic information as the actual pr product of creating a diagram, let's say, of non-academic skills, creating one of those yourself. Metacognition is really the skill that you have to say, well, how do I need to take this information that might be in these other modes of learning and translate it into the ones that I'm more comfortable with? Or even better, let's say you're a great auditory person, but you want to develop your um, visual skills better because that's so you're great at learning auditorily, but then you translate that into, again into diagrams so you can see the information and practice the skills that you're not as comfortable with. If there's anything we get from learning styles, it tells us where the work is. It's not in your preferred style. We want to be able to learn in every style. So if I'm a visual learner, I want to take opportunities to learn things auditorily, m manually, kinesthetically. I want to be able to take those opportunities to develop those skills as well. So that's what the quiz is about. The quiz is about to look at those different areas, reflect on your own skill level. This is, uh, again, it wasn't just metacognition, it was character, social and emotional skills, growth mindset, metacognition, grit, and soft skills. Each one of these is outlined in the, um, in the lesson. So you have that uh, discussion. I'm sorry, just a quiz. Ooh, a little under the weather today. But the, the quiz on non-academic skills and the final enlightenment now 
discussion is posted. That will be due at the end of this week, and that will be the end of discussions. I will be posting one more non-graded reflection discussion for us to discuss the end of the class, next steps, make sure everybody's all registered for next semester and everybody's feeling good about this class. So that would be, I'll be posting that next week, the last week of this class. So have a great week. Get outside. It looks like we're going to have some nice weather along with the snow. And um, I will see you not in the, dis well, I'll see you in the final enlightenment discussion boards and uh, have a great week.